ഹലോ ഹാർട്ടി വെൽക്കം ടു ദ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ ഓഫ് ഡോക്ടർ പ്രമോസ് ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് സെക്ഷൽ ആൻഡ് മാരിറ്റൽ ഹെൽത്ത് പ്രൈവറ്റ് ലിമിറ്റഡ് ടുഡേ ഐ ഗോട്ട് എ വെരി പ്രഷ്യസ് കപ്പിൾ വിത്ത് മീ മിസ്സസ് കീർത്തന ആൻഡ് മിസ്റ്റർ രമേഷ് കുമാർ ഹെയിലിംഗ് ഫ്രം വിശാഖപട്ടണം ആൻഡ് ദേ ഹാവ് സംതിങ് സ്പെഷ്യൽ ടു ഷെയർ വിത്ത് ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു നൗ ദേ ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഷെയർ വിത്ത് യു മിസ്സസ് കീർത്തന പ്ലീസ് Hello, I am Keetana from Vishakapatnam. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank God for directing us to promote Dr. Pramod's Institute. So about our uh, story, like we have been married since 9 years and ours is love come arranged marriage and our parents and the family and everything like we convinced everything and we thought like it would go like a happy marriage and everything was going well but uh, after marriage we encountered a problem like when trying for intercourse there was problem for few weeks and then it went for months and then it went for couple of years then um, we had to see doctors different doctors first we visited gynecologist um, she suggested to use dilators and primarily they investigated that to be as a vaginismus condition there they suggested to take a dilators of different sizes and they said us to try that didn't work and after that we consulted um, other doctors uh, who are like counselors kind of counselors uh, in this field um, they gave different tablets even that didn't work either any counseling also didn't work and uh, my husband also went to andrologist uh, to check from his side even that didn't work also but after many trials after we are really frustrated our family are also like they are very uh, down and they didn't uh, they actually they were helpless because uh, no one encountered such problem in our family so or our friends uh that time during the covid time i remember i was browsing researching in the internet about this issue very fortunately i came to f- see the website of dr pramod and i went to youtube and i've seen a f- few videos of all the videos i found one video to be very very similar to our condition that's what made or gave me hope and i showed to my husband my mother my parents uh, our family uh, after that uh, also we were not able to travel this long because of various reasons our work and because of covid situations finally um, we came here and uh, we have taken our time two weeks of time and um, we are very very happy now to our uh, meet pramod sir and all the team the sessions were very interactive and they gave us enough time uh, they never rushed the treatment and every uh, single session they were asking a feedback and they were very patient to listen to us and every day i have seen some improvement um, the team is really very supportive and simi sister is also very um, easy to i mean uh to interact and she was very supportive too um i can only say one thing i'm really fortunate to find such a place uh who can solve this issue very naturally without any techniques without any things naturally they made this possible once again i really thank you each and every member of this team and i wish best uh, to happen to this institute yeah sir ramesh what is your opinion Hi sir, my name is Ramesh Kumar. I am from Vishakhapatnam. Uh, got married 9 years back and uh, uh, everything was good and it's a lawful marriage and marriage and we thought it will be very good. On the first day, on the first night, you know, while trying for the uh, intercourse, uh, we had a challenge and we thought it will be a hectic day. What was the challenge? Uh, while penetrating, yeah, you know, uh, she was, you know, pushing me back. and it it was a weird thing we thought okay uh, maybe of a hectic day if she got some you know tiredness but uh, we have given some break we thought of you know having break and you know it will sort it out but you know the breaks went many breaks but still you know we are having the same issue we thought okay 
there will be a psychological what was the actual issue what was the difficulty for penetration uh, when 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 i was trying to you know console her you know when trying to penetrate she was able, she was not able to uh, open the legs you know like you know spreading the legs and the the body was very rigid very rigid yeah, very she rigid. used to keep the legs close yeah very close and you okay. know the arms and the uh, you know the legs they were very rigid and she was not able to at least you know uh, like asking me what's happening she was just throwing me away from the bed so pushing in that you. yeah pushing me from the bed so in that scenario i thought it's it's a weird thing you know i have never seen in any, anywhere so i thought of you know <clears throat> interacting with doctors so first you know we went to the gynecologist is there any uh, problem with psych- i mean like a physical problem in the, in the genitals so after that you know they suggested me for like you know there is a vaginismus so we have seen many doctors like you know as she said like uh, counseling a uh, few doctors suggested like you know having some alcohol and you know have some intercourse and few doctors yeah, uh, tried that also alcohol yeah she tried that and you know but it was it was like you know very worse she is more conscious than than normal so and few doctors now, otherwise does she take any alcohol and no no no, no, no this no. was the first time yes, that was the first time only for the medication yes that. yes yes and after that a uh, few doctors suggested you know having some videos while intercourse even though it it, it was very worst you know having that uh, type of videos because with the anxiety the videos mean sex videos yes sex videos porn, pornography okay. yeah it went wrong like you know we, we were you know ended up with you know like complication like fighting each other like seeing the videos you know it, it's it's your problem and it's your problem we blaming each other like you know that it's your problem something like that then afterwards you know um, uh in like in, in the covid situation uh, she she find a promote institute and she she shown me that we having similar issue and it they are they are not using any any like you know instruments like dilators anything it's a natural therapy and uh, the guidance will be very good so i convinced and we convinced our parents so after coming here i thought it's a lost choice because you know because it's been almost 9 years and we have seen many things like i i was in an idea that you know whether it could be happen or not okay we'll have we'll give a chance about it. yeah so okay it's it's, it's sorry. we'll give a last choice so after coming here the assignments and you said there there are some assignments and i was shocked what are the assignments maybe like you know okay we'll see what happen next so the first assignment second assignment and i was really surprised you know like she responded positively that i have never seen earlier like you know uh, she was pushing me from the bed uh, like 9 years back but now it's like after the first assignment she was allowing me to to do some assignments so i was really surprised and i got some confidence and you know i have just put my confidence and we are so cooperative and uh, the team and everyday progressive after the progressive sessions you know you are giving some suggestions which are helpful to us like we are having some doubts so we are having this issue we are having this issue you are telling this is not the case this is not the case so these progressive sessions made us to like, cooperate very much easily and finally we are like you know consummated now and we are so happy and confident so blessed to meet you sir Thank you thank you so much for sharing your good experience you want to talk something yeah please and also want to thank all the doctors here gynecologist yeah. she's very i mean um, she comforted me very well that is the first interaction so which made me uh, get that positive vibe gynecologist uh, and the physician and the andrologist and all the doctors we met they are very very supportive and very positive i mean they gave us very positive uh, uh that vibe and all the staff here everybody they are very 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 uh, kind enough and very polite so whoever is um, having this problem please be open um, and uh, talk about it and know about this and please give a call to promotes institute or come directly to this place and just take their suggestion advice and um, you'll definitely get out of this um, worry or problem hardly in two weeks so i can say this very confidently please come and solve your issue and please don't suffer unnecessarily that's it thank you thank you for the youtube also because yes the videos in the youtube only brought this yes. young couple here though they have been married for 9 years they used to fight with each other on this particular issue except this they never had any other issues or quarrels am i right yes sir yes yeah, yeah.
because the marriage was unconsummated they had lot of problems and uh, as they shared they consulted different doctors including gynecologists counselors psychologists psychiatrists but unfortunately nobody could help them i would say they did not get a proper treatment that is the reason they did not recover all these years even they have tried dilator uh, treatment even consuming alcohol and sedating her and trying sexual intercourse medicines many things but that was not helpful because that is not the way this should be treated and mere counseling will not help that was the one question when they came she asked me uh, doctor do you give me counseling i want a lot of counseling i said no because counseling alone cannot treat and cure anybody especially with this problem so what we have done is a very systematic sex therapy which is based on the behavioral principles as well as the principles of cognitive behavior therapy that is what we used it's a case of severe vaginismus that is why mr uh, ramesh was telling whenever i approached her she used to push me away with her hands she used to keep her both legs closed and she could not cooperate the whole body was very rigid etc these are the typical signs and symptoms of vaginismus a person with vaginismus will have a lot of fear in mind that something may happen to me what will happen there can be injury bleeding so several such fears can be there in the mind so as a result even if she wanted to cooperate she just wanted to cooperate but unfortunately at the moment of the attempt of penetration she keeps her body very rigid and tight and uh, she will not allow anybody to insert a penis or anything even a finger that is a condition of vaginismus and uh, we could offer a systematic treatment spreading over a period of 2 weeks and gradually we could got over her fear and ultimately she became relaxed and in a relaxed mode she could cooperate for the sexual contact and it was successful till today they had successful sexual uh, contact about 6 or 7 times and please understand that this can be treated whoever is having a vaginismus and unconsummated marriage if the couple is willing to cooperate it is 100% curable and no need for a divorce or separation or fighting based on this issue it is treatable so whoever is having such problem you should take a proper treatment we will see again we will meet again with another video thank you thank you for the patient listening and watching this video and once again thanks to this couple thank you thank you sir thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.